we have the sun starting to poke through the clouds and these clouds are starting to generally just scoot on out of the area here. We're going to have a nice warm, comfortable springy day out there and a pretty nice week up ahead with just some little changes here and there. Temperatures this morning are starting off close to 50 degrees uh, across most of the area. 57 down in Iowa City and Washington where the clouds are still a bit thicker, but we are all going to be warming up and quickly at that temperatures are going to climb toward 80 degrees pretty much across the board. Everyone's going to be getting into the upper 70s and we'll have plenty of sunshine through the day. Then tonight we'll have clear skies and it will get a bit breezy. Today we have the winds out of the northwest and the humidity is going to be on the lower side. As we head into tonight, you'll notice a little batch of clouds just passing on through. That is going to be with a little disturbance, a backdoor cold front, and uh, it's known as the backdoor front because it's coming in from the north and east rather than typically where they come in from the northwest. So as that happens, it's going to lead to the winds coming in out of the east. That's off of Lake Michigan, which is still chilly this time of year because it takes a lot more energy to warm up the water than it does the land. And so we are going to have a slightly cooler day as a result, but it's still sunny and comfortable. On Thursday, the winds will turn in out of the south. That will We'll be pulling in some warmer air ahead of a cold front that will then be arriving as we head into the evening, leading to some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms to come through Thursday night into Friday. There's still some little uncertainties with the timing of the rain Thursday into Friday, but the bulk of the action is going to be happening overnight Thursday into early Friday. It's just a question of how long does it linger as we head into Friday morning, but I think a lot of it's going to be clearing out during or uh, at least before the morning commute, and we'll then have high pressure moving in and that's going to lead to a nice dry and sunny weekend and there's tons of activities going on this weekend and it's going to be really great for it with the dry weather and also some warmer weather too. We are going to have temperatures bouncing up and down a little bit. We'll have that front coming in tomorrow leading to the slightly cooler air with the east wind. We're back up Thursday and then we're back down Friday, but we start to climb up through the weekend as that high pressure builds in and that's not just at the surface, but up above our heads too. So we have this one system coming in Thursday leading to a little drop in the temperatures briefly. High pressure then moves in in the upper levels of the atmosphere and this pattern is going to lead to some dry and warm conditions as we head through the weekend and into next week as well. In fact, the Climate Prediction Center has been painting an outline that puts uh, an outlook rather that puts us in above normal temperatures through the end of the month of May and our average high temperatures this time of year sits in the upper 60s to low 70s. So we're talking about 70s to near 80 degree temperatures and that's similar to what we're going to be experiencing this week as well with just some little kind of ups and downs happening. We're around 80 degrees today dropping into the low to mid 70s tomorrow still above normal and then we will have a lot of dry weather around 80 degrees Thursday with rain chances increasing Thursday evening into early Friday. We do drop down a little bit Friday, but then we start to climb back up through the 70s with sunshine and some nice conditions through the weekend into early next week. It's now 6.53. When we come back, we'll take a look. And right now we do have warnings along the Mississippi River for flooding because we're already in flood stage in all of these locations here uh, from the Twin Cities on down to the south. And we're going to continue to see the river rise with crest. The top levels expected between April 26th to May 10th and the water that's coming downstream is from snow melt. We also have the addition of any thunderstorm activity and snow from the last week or so and especially the heavy rain of the last two days. So we are expecting some moderate to major flood stage rises, uh, moderate flood stage in Lansing, Linksville, um, Wisconsin and Guttenberg, Iowa. We then have the crest getting close to a record in McGregor uh, expected to be between 24 to 25 feet and just shy possibly or close to the record from 1965. Then Dubuque of the railroad bridge expected to see a crest into major flood stage close to the record of 65. The good news in Dubuque is that they have a lot of flood protection that's been built up. It's permanent, but in areas like Clayton, um, McGregor, Marquette, uh, there are some spots there that could have some big impacts because of the water coming up and they're putting some temporary protection in place and do have a levee uh, that can protect to a certain point. But we do have, thankfully, some quiet weather around here right now. Cooler air has come in behind yesterday's system. Low pressure swirling to the north is going to keep things cool this weekend. And uh, with the cooler air, we tend to have drier air as well, which is going to be the best case scenario in the days leading up to the crest on the river. We have temperatures that are sitting right now in the 30s to around 40 degrees. The sun is out right now now 
but clouds will be building in this afternoon. Temperatures are only going to be in the 50s and it will be breezy. As we head through the next couple of days, we are going to have the chance of seeing some maybe sprinkles or flurries, but not much that would actually accumulate. Just might see it here and there as these clouds rotate in and that low pressure system gets a little closer. We'll have clouds around on Saturday and some pretty cool air around. And then at night over the next couple of days, we are going to have the potential of seeing freezing temperatures. So freeze warnings and watches have been posted as temperatures are going to be down near and below that freezing mark that could lead to some damage to any sensitive plants or flowers out there. So just something to keep in mind if anything's bloomed or you've maybe set some things outside because of the nicer weather recently. Uh, just uh, going to be a couple of nights here where we're down uh, at or below 32. We're going to have days that are going to be chilly as well in the 40s and 50s and well below normal. We'll be dry through the weekend. Slight chance that we do see some sprinkles here and there and then watching a chance for some rain on Tuesday morning. But hopefully we do stay dry up until the river crests and comes back down. Temperatures too are going to be gradually rising as we head into next week. Right now we do have a just a snowy morning out here back in the winter wonderland in parts of eastern Iowa, especially you go to the north and east and there's five to seven inches of snow that fell. You get down to about highway 20 closer to two inches and then highway 30 is about a half an inch to an inch of snow. We do have a few slick spots out there in the northeastern part of the area, but around Cedar Rapids just been some wet streets and uh, to the north and east where there's more snow. That's where you'll find some partially snow covered roads, not seeing huge issues on the main roads, but could be some side streets and some of those uh, just uh, side roads that are the gravel roads that could be having some trouble there with uh, the snow on them. And we are going to have just a bit of a slower commute that way, but we should get into sunshine over the next couple of hours. That will definitely help the situation. Might take a little bit longer in the north and east, but down to the south and west, snow should melt away pretty easily under the April sun. We have temperatures that are in the 30s across the board, 32 in Decorah, 35 Cedar Rapids 36 in Washington and the winds are strong too. You've probably been hearing them and then in the last hour we've had some wind gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour and uh, that's going to lead to quite the blustery day with temperatures in the 40s in the north 50s in the south and the sun coming out at least <laughs> it's going to feel a lot colder with winds gusting around 35 to 45 miles per hour especially during the first half of the day. Winds stay strong this afternoon start to back off as we head then into this evening and as the winds die down the skies stay clear we are going to have temperatures dropping down into the upper 20s to low 30s. So even as the snow melts and the sun comes out today, if you do have any sensitive plants and flowers, you'll want to cover them up or bring them inside because we are going to have this cold air around and it's just unfortunate after we got into all that warmth and started to see things blooming and the trees, the buds on the trees and such and the grass uh, turning green. Maybe some people mowing their lawns and now it's a uh, snow, but uh, we are going to have the northwest wind for today. Quickly switching out of the south and east tomorrow, pulling in some warmer air. We're back into some more springy weather by the middle of the week with a chance for some showers and storms on Wednesday. And uh, this model here showing a line coming through in the morning. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on things and uh, watch the trends, but there's certainly the chance for some storms on Wednesday. The Storm Prediction Center also has been monitoring the area with a marginal risk and a slight risk, which is one out of two out of five, one and two out of five on the scale here for the possibility of some strong storms. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this and we'll have to kind of watch and see where everything does set up. But there's a chance we could see some additional storms on Thursday as well. As we do keep the pattern active, we have this snow that fell uh, partially on the Mississippi to some heavy snow and we have some more rain this week that could cause additional complications on the Mississippi as it's expected to rise over the next two weeks. We do have flood warnings posted until further notice and uh, the National Weather Service concerned about the potential for some uh, near record crests to occur as we go through the end of April and into early May, depending on the situation because of the snow that's melted and because of additional rain coming through. We are going to have temperatures around 50 today, near 60 tomorrow. We take it a step up into the middle of the week with some springy weather and the chance for showers and storms, but we then get tossed back down below normal as we head into the upcoming weekend. And right now we do have winter weather advisories that have been posted in the region and these go into effect later on tonight into tomorrow as uh, we have the potential of seeing some snow in the region. So this is going to be nearby. It does not include Cedar Jones, Dubuque counties, but just right on the edge here where uh, some higher snowfall amounts are expected. And this is still making for a tricky forecast because we do have some uncertainty, but uh, we do know that there's going to be some accumulating snow and there's also going to be a very sharp 
sharp cutoff that happens. Currently, though, we have a chance to enjoy some sunshine. There are some clouds in the southeast that have been kind of picking back up, but I do think we will see plenty of sun today, too. With clear skies for a lot of the night, we were able to see the northern lights, and we also have some frost that's formed as temperatures have dropped down to near and below the freezing mark, sitting right at 32 in Iowa City. Everyone else is below freezing, 26 Cedar Rapids, 25 Old Wine, 23 up in Decorah. And as we head into this afternoon, we'll have the sunshine, we'll have temperatures rising into the upper 40s to low 50s, and then clouds begin to move in this evening. We'll have the storm system approaching, and with temperatures still above the freezing mark, there will be rain initially. So that's something else that's uh, tricky with this system is that we are going to start off with rain and see that transition to some sloppy snow. And the question is, where exactly does that happen? It all has to do with the track of this thing. So through the day today, we're nice and quiet. We are going to then have clouds building in and rain moving in after about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And this is mostly going to be confined to the south and east. You can, in fact, see some really high uh, precipitation rates with this thing, too. And that's likely what's going to help cool the atmosphere down and lead to this transition to snow that we'll see happen overnight into early Saturday morning. You can see some pockets of deep blues, which would indicate some high snowfall rates and some heavy snow coming down at times. That could lead to the roads getting slick, similar to what we saw a few days ago in northern Iowa. That passes by, and we are then going to have uh, the snow winding down in the early morning hours. And it's just a question of how far to the west does it end up or how far to the east does it end up. In terms of where we're sitting with the forecast, uh, looking at uh, up to two inches of snow in much of the southeastern portion of Iowa. And I have a zero to two because I do think there's going to be a sharp cutoff where there's going to be no snow to some accumulating snow. And then in that zone with the uh, winter weather advisories posted around two to four inches possible that could clip some parts of Dubuque, Cedar and Jones counties as well. So Something to keep in mind is that there could still be some little ch changes and tweaks to this forecast. And I just want to show you what's been happening with our data. There's been some of the latest models going a little bit further to the east. There's a GFS going east and our NAM model going east. Uh, the graph, which is our in-house predictor model, has still that snowfall accumulation over southeastern Iowa. And the European model has been a large outlier showing some very widespread heavy snowfall. So that is what's leading to still some uncertainty at the final hour here. But uh, in terms of that snow, it should be, especially for eastern Iowa, likely on the minor side of the accumulation, some slushy, slick streets possible Saturday morning, especially in the far southeast. We'll then see that wind down. We'll have a cool weekend with clouds in overhead. We'll watch another chance for a wintry mix on Monday and then additional chances for mostly rain between Wednesday and Thursday of next week.